Hi everyone, so I wanted to share a video with you guys uh, regarding how um, to go about breeding ring neck dubs. Um, it's not a difficult thing. <laughs> um, I had somebody actually reach out regarding information on, um, you know, tips and things like that if you have a pair of dubs or whatever. As you can tell, I have a lot. Um, oh, about 54 is how many we have. Now, as you can tell, there's a couple right there that are, um, yeah, you know what they're doing. <laughs> you guys, I'm recording. Those are two boys, by the way. <laughs> Goodness. So anyway, this is my aviary, and we have um, a lot of doves, and these are the parents and things like that, and we have our nests and stuff. Um, I have this nest that's going to be changed out. I've got a new nest that looks like that. Those really pretty ornate nest boxes that I designed. I highly recommend wood nest boxes. They are a lot stronger. Square is your friend. Rectangular is your friend. Um, the round nests are not great when it comes to nesting. So, for instance, these guys, they tend to do a lot of, they like to roost together, I guess is what they call it. And I noticed that um, they will pile in. You can have three or four hens. If you do colony breeding, for instance, this is colony breeding. And what I do is um, I have all of my birds, 99% of them are not related, okay? So if for some reason some wander and decide to mate with someone else and so on and so forth, there is no inbreeding, okay? So I sell all their babies. So there's no issues with that. Um, but basically, square, rectangular nests, uh, nests, making sure that the enclosure is always very clean, uh, lots of space, okay? Yes, the males do argue. Um, they are your typical boys. They don't try to kill each other. Um, and I don't know, I can't speak for anyone else's aviaries, but my birds do not try to kill each other. Um, they really do pluck each other's feathers. They kind of smack each other. It's more about the argument over um, any given territory, okay? And um, my aviary, it's, it's 8 feet by 6 feet by 4 feet. That's pretty large. Um, I do breed my doves all year round and that's simply because they just continue to my females take breaks on their own I don't know why that is but I will have certain females that decide that they have enough babies from other hens to help out with that they don't need to lay eggs every month so for whatever reason in our aviary we do not have issues with um, the birds needing to be um, placed on wooden eggs at a given, any given point, even during the winter, um, our birds do continue breeding. And I have, for instance, I have this little female. Where is she? Leah. Oh, there she is. Hi, Leah. Uh, Leah has never, has not, not ever. She's not laid eggs in the past few cycles, few months, simply because she, she sits in this nest with Miss Jubilee who has yet to take a break. But I um, I feed them really amazing food and give them lots of calcium and stuff. Um, she, Leah, she likes to help with the baby. So she's what I call a helper hen. So she could be breeding, but she doesn't. She's just content, like there's some eggs in here, and she's gonna sit and she's gonna give Mama Jubilee here a break until so Jubilee will leave and Leah will sit on her eggs for her, and then she will help feed them and such. And she's just content because there's babies. So we discovered that that was really a really a nice little thing. It really helps, they're really community here. The boys argue sometimes, sure, but overall they're like a family that um, <laughs> has disagreements. Um, yeah, let's see if there's anything else. They need lots of sunlight, uh, lots of calcium, a uh, high protein diet, good um, amount of carbohydrates, I do recommend, um, I do highly recommend um, feeding them more than just bird seed. Um, recently I've started giving them oregano, par not parsley, I'm sorry, oregano, 
what else did I give them? Um, oregano and some basil and thyme. Now, the rosemary, rosemary, you gotta be careful with. You gotta really grind that stuff up. If they're like little pine needles, please don't give them to them like that. That is not good, okay? Um, that's my frosty up there. If you don't know what a frosty is, it's a really beautiful gray blue tinted bird. He's so pretty. The only frosty we got, and he makes all our frosties here at Majestic Dove's Aviary. Um, let's see here. I highly recommend just a lot of space for your birds. If you have, if you decide to not call any breed, but you want to breed your birds, um, you know, in like a smaller enclosure to where it's more controlled. Uh, please don't put them in a tiny cage. They really need space. They prefer it and floor space is best. I use dog crates because the floor space is so much larger and you can get them for real cheap. And I don't know, depending on whoever um, is watching this, you're gonna want to just make sure your birds have space because they are birds. They do like to fly and they do like to walk around. And if you want a bird that is gonna breed and make babies for you, they need to be happy. Let me tell you, they need to feel like they're as much part of nature as possible. Stuffing in them in a dark cage and expecting them to just churn out babies is, see, this is a, a disagreement right here. See that? That's as bad as it gets. They'll smack each other. It's called wing boxing. So, very common. This, this, uh, yeah, they're having an argument. That's what we see. And then you can see I put green right there. It's real pretty. Don't, but anyway, to get back to my point, do not stuff them in a dark cage and expect them to make these more beautiful babies. Because let me tell you, there's something to be said about atmosphere, the environment that they're in. See, there's one's having an argument. And um, having lots of sunlight, having really good food. It's all about the atmosphere, you know? Pre-treat your, your birds um, month, um, every few months with ivermectin. I highly recommend that. Ivermectin is a parasite um, bug treatment. And it basically, you give it to them, put it in their water. You can find it online. And you just measure it out properly. And it just protects them, really. It takes care of all kinds of stuff. And we pre-treat our birds ahead of time. They don't have anything, but I always prevent, because I have so many birds, okay? So, and you can see they're, this is just pretty noisy. This, these are the parents. This is where the parents are at. And, you know, we have newborns and stuff in here, but all the little, and then I have, um, I have a nice little, little baby right there, sitting on the edge of the nest with some parents, okay? Oh, there's no, a couple of babies. You see the little baby fluttering his little wings? So, yeah. It's our aviary, and I highly recommend swings. This triangle swing is awesome. We love it. It's like a tire swing, but it's triangle, triangle shape. So, yeah. I hope this helps. I really do. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you guys are breeding your birds or whatever, um, see, there's another argument. I highly recommend that, you know, you just go... And just careful consideration. If you feel like you want to give your birds a break, go for it. That's okay. We're in a unique situation where we've, we've had we've hens that have bonded in such a way they've decided to help each other out and allows for some to take breaks. So, um, excuse my kids in the background. I do have kids. So, because this is in my home. <laughs> They're in our living room. So, we have a lot of activity going on here. All right? Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.